Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of GP Plays All the Games, this time with the Wowie Jam 2.0. Uh, this is a rather big game jam, it seems to have a big community around it, uh, with the optional theme, Intentional Bugs. I'm playing all the games that were entered in this jam, about 10 per video, for a minute each, links to individual games in the description so you can check them out further. At the end I'll probably have an article of my favourites on BigBossBattle.com. If you want to support me in my quest to play all of these little indie games, please consider donating to my Patreon or following me on Twitter. Links to that are also in the description. Alright, let's get started. Next. We're playing Bullet. Type a three-letter name. I don't know. Jup. It's not really a three-letter name, but it's my three-letter name, so... Oh, that's scary. Okay, so I need to collect these dots, or else they turn yellow, and they start fighting me? Looks like I can ignore them as long as I keep collecting little dots that are around. They do get bigger. Little Pac-Mans. Oh, there's big green boys too. Yeah, didn't do well at all. I'm not even making a high scoreboard with my score of like 13. I don't know. I don't know how to be exact at all. I am definitely collecting like leftover bullets, which is weird. Oh my goodness, I'm the big. Next. We're playing Snail Man? This looks like Pac-Man, but I'm a snail. This is something to do with Miley Cyrus. Don't know what. Alright, I just like teleported. Look at this. Game over. Why is game over? I am reckless. I feel like this game is a bit noisy and confusing. And so that's obviously a bit of a challenge. More pills are appearing and I am so slow. These pills aren't actually helping me very much. Speed is quartered. They seem to be different power-ups, but occasionally everything just resets anyway. It's so slow. Snail moved, okay. Wow, well, it's definitely quite glitchy. Next. We're playing bug fix. This is some sort of terminal. Alright. Okay, so it looks like we'll just be avoiding all of the tears. Hmm. Oh, this is very challenging. Yeah, how do we get around all of this? And then obviously there's also bullets. Yeah, being shot. You can't stay still. Oh no. Okay. So the first level I thought it was kind of unfinished, but it's actually just a very challenging game. That takes a bit of luck. Darn it. Everything works well, it feels good. Next. We're playing blank. A and D. Cool. I'm a little cube. A lot of these games have me playing a little cube. I can be a little cube. Like the sand uh, dripping in the background. Does make me feel a little bit like the cave is gonna collapse. Boop. Oh. It's interesting, right, right. It's like gravity was reversed right there. Hmm. I wish I knew what reverse gravity. I do bah, I do appreciate the exclamation point being what tells me gravity is being reversed. 
Should we push against this wall? Yeah. We did it. We're alive. Don't worry. Now there's jumping people. I'm guessing they're bad as well. The end. Thanks for playing my little game. To the title screen. Okay. Cute. It's a good start. Next. We're playing a wall clip. Hi, this is fine. This is browser based. I feel like I've played this. I feel like I've definitely played this before and I don't know why. Basically, we need to build up speed to hit through the wall. This is a very challenging game. Oh no. We were doing alright. So many little things we need to avoid and remember. That was handy. So you don't have to go all the way back around. We don't need those gems. Can't seem to jump up there anyway. Oh. Oh, this is really fun. It's such a simple idea, but it is so fun. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh no, I didn't see where we went. Oh, next. We're playing Terminal. Do I see a move? Right clicked it. Whoa. Ah, uh, harsh sounds. I feel like in 2020 we should replace those sounds with like crunching or that or something else. You guys don't know. Alright, grab this. I don't know what these papers are, but they're clearly for the computer, so. Loading next memory address. All right. So I'm basically fixing some bugs. Awesome. Definitely killing everything. I don't know if those open, but they definitely hurt me, so probably shouldn't be doing them. We don't have anything yet. Everything yet. A bit low on health for a minute. I do like the graphics and having to explore around, and also when we shoot we move slower, which makes a lot of sense. Next. We're playing Where's the Ground? I always wonder where the ground is. Alright, so we have to catch this falling person? But how do we make him fall? I don't see anything. I can't even get all the way over. I'm gonna refresh it and refresh it. Alright. If we run into the same, like, error, I'm not gonna be able to play again, so. Oh, we can, like, shoot? Oh, okay. No. Right. Didn't realize we could shoot. The description literally just says A and D like those video games. Yeah, knock the person off. Oh, I guess the person wasn't allowed to touch black floors. I think this is pretty rough, not gonna lie. And that's a shame. Cool, I think that was us completing the game. There's definitely a, a concept here, they just needed more time to flush it out. Next. We're playing Outer Bounds. Ooh. Still want to activate these. So the longer you go into the other world, ah, the farther you fall. And the farther you fall, the farther you bounce up. Hi. Oh, there's also a red line down there. I 
This is a challenge. I like what they were going for here, though. Nope. Oh, I didn't let, I didn't unclick. There's just a lot going on in your mind when you play this game. It's definitely tricky. Get on top. Oh, beautiful. We did it. Okay. All right. Made it through that. Cool. This is very clever. I like the graphics as well. Next. We're playing Portal Zero. WSD, space, cool. For a minute, it didn't look like there was a second screen. I wasn't sure what was going on. Wonderful, wonderful. I don't want this. Cool. So we want to avoid portals that are no good for us. Oh, I didn't know that was going to like put us all the way over there. That blue one went to brown. Hmm, tricky. Trial and error game. Okay. Very confused as to where I'm supposed to go, to be completely honest. I don't move with the platform, I don't move on top of it. Cool. Alright, sure. This isn't as challenging as I thought it would be. Oh, they took me out of the red. Oh. I like the death animation as well. Oh. It's a game very much about timing. Sometimes it takes me to the red and sometimes it doesn't, so that's a bit confusing. I'm not sure why it happens. Next. We're playing the ball. Press Q to shoot and S to, S to jump if you're the square. Press space or click the mouse if you're the ball. Finally, if you're the square, kill the ball. This feels like a two-player game. There's only one of me now. So the ball can't really defend itself, it's just got to avoid, and there's no timer to say when the ball has won. So if you're the ball, you're just going to eventually die, right? That's the idea. I kind of wish the ball had points, like a time limit, and then if it lasted that time limit, it could, like, change switch which character was which with their own individual healths. I think that'd make for a more interesting game. I feel like you could probably avoid someone for ages on this. And everything does work as desired. Yeah, I don't know. Simple game. Next.